What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Curtis and today we're going to be talking about the new ground off-road 270 awning. Um, let's get into it. All right, what do you guys think? The new 270, I'm loving it so far. I just installed it, but decided to stop out in the desert to kind of give it a little feel, make a video for you guys. Um, but I'll show you guys how I installed it. The Pantheon Adventure Tent really helped out with that one. Um, eventually want to do a couple other mounting options, but uh, for now, this is what we're going to run with. All right, so with the new ground 270 awning comes with, I have my awning bag here. So pop that open. All right, so what comes in your bag is this guy right here. So this is your pole ladder or your pole strap goes into here and then has this nice kind of ratcheting type of deal. So it's a nice machined clip. Clip that on wherever. I'll probably have a different spot for this because I don't like that angle, but that's a really nice little thing they got going on um so what it comes in comes with is your mounting brackets right there one thing i love about this awning it comes with these really nice stakes compared to a lot of other brands those look really nice comes with um your ropes so if you want to stake those down with ropes you can if it gets really windy comes with your light options so you want to put your lights on you plug all these bad boys in here and it's got lights right here here and here and it also comes with this very nifty bag so love that all right you guys might ask why didn't i get the roam why didn't i get uh like you know any of those big name brands for my overland gear but i really do believe in small business these two companies Pantheon Adventure and New Ground Off-Road. They're both small businesses. And uh, New Ground, he's actually local in Arizona. The 270 awning is the Ponderosa, which is a place in Arizona. Uh, it's the Ponderosa Pines. It's just like a type of pine tree we have here in Arizona. And I love that. I love supporting the local businesses. I have one myself, downtimeloss.com, check out my merch. Um, but I really do believe in all that. All of these companies are the same or as better as the big name brands. But yeah, I love this setup so far. Uh, I have one issue that it's my fault. I have to figure it out, but uh, let me talk to you about that. All right, so one issue I have is if you look at the Pantheon Adventure tent, it eventually comes out this way. So when I go to pop the tent, I'll show you guys that in this video, but when I go to pop it, the awning gets angled down. So eventually I need to figure out a hinge bracket. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Any type of hinge bracket that I can use so once the tent goes up, the awning can stay level where it's at. And uh, it has to hold up too, because this awning is about like 40 pounds. So um, it has to be strong and durable. So if you have any ideas, put those bad boys in the description and I probably will go through idea if it's good. Um, but that's mostly my fault. So like when I want to open the tent, I have to put the 270 away, but that's kind of a good thing. Cause out here in Arizona, it can get very, very windy in the middle of the night. And uh, you don't really want this open when it's 50 mile an hour winds. So, so far it hasn't been a bad idea. So far it hasn't been, you know, an issue but eventually we're gonna do something like that. Also, another thing that I love about this awning is the backside in the ribbing area. It has those center holes right here. So you can use those to uh, mount your mounting brackets onto the tent. And that is beefy. That backside rib plate, channel plate is beef. So I love it. I love the all black um, setup so far. So the the tent, when you pull it up, it's all black. The 270 awning is all black and it hasn't really been hot. I actually feel like the black dissipates 
heat a lot better than uh, any other color because it kind of sinks through that. All right, guys, got some very exciting news. The bumpers are done. The DVA bumpers are done, and I'm going to go pick them up next week at uh, Riverside, California. So I'll be out there, um, and then we're going to hopefully have them on for the GM special. Hopefully they're going to be done. Um, if you guys want any discounts, use code Downtime Lost for the DVA rack. This thing is badass. I love it. Best looking rack in the game right now. And uh, you'll have a coupon code for the bumpers when they're released. A little sneak peek. So if you guys want to see them early, probably follow me on Instagram, Downtime Lost, to kind of check those out. But I am so excited to finally get some real armor in the front and the rear because both of those are destroyed on my truck so very excited so next week dba bumpers coming we got some new big 35 1250 falcon mts coming on the truck and we have a princer roof rack ordered so hopefully we'll get those in time if you guys are local in arizona or are planning to go to overland expo west i hope my truck will be there so if uh if it is come say hi at the dba booth um, i'd love to talk to you guys talk about your gear whatever you guys got going on your trucks and yeah it's gonna be fun all right guys so the the awning has that uh 60 600 p whatever uh ripstop material waterproof material so that's very very nice and uh i'm loving it let's just say the five foot roam awning was kind of pointless especially in arizona because you'd have that four foot awning or five foot awning and then the sun would be at an angle and your shade would be off to the side and it, like look how much shade we got here we got so much shade so if you're on the market for a 270 awning and you want to support a local business check out newfound off-road those guys are super cool over there and support a local business you know that's what we need right now in america is supporting local business and same for the pantheon adventure tent if you guys are in the market for uh tents or anything both those companies do have super sick awnings and tents if you're trying to buy a Pantheon Avenger tent, use my code Downtime Lost, and you'll get yourself, I think, like 10% off. So, um, super good deal. You're supporting local business as well, not some of these big corporations that really don't care about you. Check them out. Check these both both these guys out. They're super rad dudes. They actually love what they're doing. They're just not an employee. They do this stuff for fun on the weekends, and they love it just the same way as you guys do. All right, guys, let's get going on the trail. I'm gonna put the 270 away and kind of show you guys how easy it is. All right, so we're gonna start with the bungee over on this side. Super easy. Undo your hook. Right side. Right, we'll swing them down. Make sure they pull down like this. There's a little bag right here. A little bag. Put my keys in there. Can't forget those. also got a buttery zipper. Very nice zipper. Not a pain in the ass. 
So that's super nice. I'll show you guys the problem with opening the tent here. All right, so this is why I need kind of like the hinge bracket when I go to open the tent when awning up. You guys have any questions or if you guys have any ideas let me know what type of hinge bracket you can do right here so if you look right here thinking about putting some sort of hinge bracket that will let it kind of bring it up again um, I'm gonna have to figure out kind of like a pull pin so once it is like that I can kind of let it come out again but uh, that is what we got to do um, but I love the mounting situation and everything like that. It just looks looks perfect. Um, but we got to figure out some type of hinge uh, hinge system. All right. So I hope you guys found uh, today's video interesting. And uh, if you guys are in the market for any type of overland gear, um, check out uh, New Ground Off Road and Pantheon Adventure. I have a coupon code with uh, Pantheon Adventure. Uh, code is downtime loss so if you guys want a discount on any type of rooftop awnings or rooftop tents and such like that they have all different types of uh rooftop tents that uh, you can get a discount for they all have that cool channel type of deal that i have on my my tent right here they're both small businesses and i love supporting small businesses because i am one also so make sure to check them out i hope you guys liked this week's video um, sure loving the setup so far so if you ever in the market for any type of overland gear um, check out new ground off-road and uh, pantheon adventure um, i'll put a link in the description for their websites and such uh, i have a co coupon code downtime lost on pantheon adventure so you can use that coupon code um, to buy a sweet rooftop tent so uh, super excited for next week getting the new dva bumpers getting rid of this big old gray plastic thing that i beat up and tore up and scratched up and it's toasted and also the rear bumpers kind of bent and everything so that's not very fun but next week we're getting the dva bumpers front and rear so hopefully they'll work out and we can bring them home back to az and start making content with them so and hopefully they will be on for the gm special i'll be out there next week at calico i don't know calico california see you guys there at the gm special come say hi come say what up love to meet you guys i'm um, super excited for the, the plans the prinsu roof rack is ordered it's on the way i got the prinsu pro um it's gonna be super fun when i get that on i'm super excited kind of change the look of the truck never had a roof rack in my life but i'm kind of kind of hoping um we like it but uh new tires coming soon falcon wild peak empties this time 35 12 50s so it's gonna stick out a little bit more um i love these rts let me know if you guys want a video about them how i've um how they've treated me let me know in the just comments what you guys want but uh, I'm willing to do a video on them. Um, super excited about the future of the build and the venture we have going on. So, uh, all right guys, well, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I love all the comments, the likes, all of it. Make sure to hit that sub button. Love you guys, peace out.